Welcome back to Fox 51 Today. There's a new lung nodule clinic at the Lewis and Peaches Owen Hart Hospital. Dr. James Cacciatolo and Megan Morris are here to tell us more about this. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good morning. morning. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you for coming on today. Tell us about this new clinic that you're opening. You said, it, I believe it was in July that you just opened. Right. Uh, we opened the clinic on July 1st, and the uh, focus is mainly on uh, patients who have abnormal x-rays, either CAT scan or a chest x-ray that's abnormal. Uh, we opened the clinic because there's such a high incidence of lung cancer in East Texas, mm -hmm. and also there have been new recommendations that have come out uh, for lung cancer screening for high-risk patients. So the clinic allows us to evaluate those patients with abnormal x-ray, as well as evaluate patients who are high risk for potential lung cancers. Mm -hmm. Sounds like something the area definitely needs. Now, our, what may be, be some reasons for lung cancer? I know you think about smoking, but maybe some other environmental Absolutely, yeah. Smoking is definitely the main risk factor for developing lung cancer. But other occupational exposures, such as asbestos exposure, radon, other chemicals, family history of lung cancer, uh, all these factor into the development of lung cancer and are risk factors for development. But smoking is by far and away the greatest cause. Now, are, are there any signs that we can look out for? Maybe we start coughing, we cough blood, or, or is there anything that we can? that's a big indicator that we might have to go get checked and see if we have lung cancer. Well, unfortunately, uh, most patients with lung cancer don't have any symptoms till it's too late. Mm -hmm. But certainly things like cough, coughing up blood, weight loss, any kind of chest pain, those things would definitely be things you need to be evaluated for by your physician. Mm -hmm. Megan, tell us about your role there at the clinic. Well, I'm the nurse navigator, and my role consists of um, screening patients mm -hmm. in a database. I receive alerts on chest x-rays, um, CTs, PET scans, images of that sort. Um, I go in and review those, look at patients who have had findings for lung nodules. Um, I look at their health history, things like Dr. Cacciatolo just brought up, and see if the patient is a good um, candidate to be followed in our clinic. Um, we follow up with repeat procedures like CTs um, to make sure that the nodule does not enlarge or have any types of changes that would um, warrant um, additional treatments. Mm -hmm. Well, now speaking of the treatments, what are some of the treatments that uh, these patients will go through to try to get them better and on the right track? Well, there's, there's a wide variety of things available and it's really tailored to the patient and that's what we focus on at the Lung Nodule Clinic. We've got a multidisciplinary group of specialists, surgeons, pulmonologists, oncologists, radiation therapists, uh, pathologists who help us develop a, a custom tailored treatment plan for each patient. The best treatment usually is surgery if we can remove it and it's early, but some patients can't tolerate an operation or have more advanced disease, so it really mm -hmm. requires a multi-modality approach. Sometimes surgery, sometimes radiation, sometimes chemotherapy, sometimes all of the above. You know, I've heard of people in the past having, you know, find a spot on a scan and then they, it, how does a, a doctor determine without maybe biopsying that that's a nodule? that it's benign. Can that be done just through the imagery? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. There, there is uh, specific uh, scanning that we do that uses uh, uh, nuclear uh, labeled uh, tracers to look for cancers. We scan the whole body, that's called a PET scan. Sometimes we can get uh, an idea whether something's malignant based just on the appearance on the scan, whether the borders are irregular or where it's located. Um, and uh, other characteristic features such as calcium deposits in the nodule sometimes uh, predict that they could be benign. Uh, and then family history, uh, you know, smoking history and all those things. And we can actually calculate what the risk or the likelihood of that in a nodule is malignant just based on those factors. Mm. That is very, very interesting. Well, thank you both so much for stopping thank by you. this morning and telling us all about this. Oh, thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Thank you. Well, coming up next.